I get hit by one poison sting from a friggin' sand shirt, nonetheless. And I swear to God, poison happens to you more than it happens to the opponent. It's like that in like every game. Really nice to see Goat getting up in those levels. Right. Now in here. What do you have to say? Like, why can't I save you? What? But I want to be the hero. Mark my words. I will be the one to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> the master ball, which will catch it. But I was right! Of course I was right, I played this game before. <laughs> well, they've already taken over, Sylph. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one of your problems, Neon. Moving on. I've been down there. You! You know, I gotta tell you, I love fighting the scientists in um, Fire and Leaf Green because their character sprite just looks so unnecessarily badass. <laughs> Yeah, and calcium, and I get the feeling that beyond that wall is something I really don't want to see. But, um, oh, calcium, that race is special. So... I want to make Shikamaru more of a powder, or give it a 2 one I'll give 2 one a little bit more of an edge. But they're just pulling like this really badass pose with a Pokeball out in front and holding a test tube in the other, just like, SCIENCE, BITCH! <laughs> Seriously, you look at that sprite just like, oh man, it's so good. <laughs> uh. Okay, so maybe the critical double edge on that Rattata was a bit overkill, but it's a Rattata, it gets what it deserves. I really fucking hate Rattata. <laughs> anyway, this is floor 8. And uh, I was actually wrong before, after looking at my notes, I found that uh, floor 8 doesn't actually have any items. So, yeah. Every floor above the first, except for floor 8. Well, and floor 11. Because I now actually remember that there are 11 floors. How many of those Rocket Brothers have I defeated already? I lost count. <laughs> and that's how much they mean to me. Teleporters all over the place, I'm not using a single one. He really only needs to use that one teleporter, after that, it's just... Oh, well, I guess there is one more instance. <sighs> I get the feeling I'm not going to like what's coming up one bit. You there! Ah, never fear, I am here! Uh, well, I'm really only here just so my, um, Taurus can have some experience fodder, but, uh... I'm still here, and you're still getting what you want, which is, uh... Liberation, I guess? That's the point, asshat. Mm -hmm. 
Goat, why is it taking you until you're a level mid-30s for you to learn stuff that was already known by a level 5 Radita? Like, every level 5 Radita? It'd be really great if Goat had a, uh, had a ground type move. But yeah, pretty damn awesome. Now, I'm looking for... I wasn't looking for you, but, uh, okay, I'll buy it. Oh, there's still another one of you guys. You know, after hearing that, I'm starting to think that Hypno and Jinx share a cry. Do I have Jinx yet? I'm gonna check that later. I mean, I had one in red, just... Ah, now this, this is convenient. We are healed right up. PP and all. So yeah, we can come here for a rest, so not only do I not need to go to the Pokemon Center anymore, I don't need any more of my healing items. So, uh, that's probably a... Probably a waste of money. But, um... On this bed... On this bed is a max potion. Right next to the nurse. How uh fitting. Dun 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 dun. Here, just a teleporter. Hmm. A teleporter is not important for a specific reason, is it? I hope it's not the reason I'm thinking of. <laughs> I think that max potion was the only item on this floor, but of course, there are still enemies around, and um, well, everyone dies. Dun 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 dun. to the next floor. I think I'm gonna like what's on this next floor. Well, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but um, alright, I'll buy it. Moving right along. Ah, more hostages. Yep. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> anyway, in this room... You know what? I'm not even going to try to avoid you because this is going to be satisfying. Satisfying because this selection of items right here. Whew. Carbos. Which I'm going to use immediately on goats. Because uh, that speed will do this guy wonders. Next. Rare candy. Which, um, goat doesn't exactly need at the moment, but I will give it. That's not the rare candy, that's self-destruct. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I will give it to DK. Oh, dead on 100 HP, awesome. But, the best of the haul. TM26 Earthquake. Probably the best ground type move in the game. 100 accuracy, 100 power, 100 complete freaking 
awesome. And it's going right on GOAT. <laughs> now I have Earthquake. And if it wasn't so before, this game is now truly my bitch. <laughs> oh, power is great. Alright, and now, the top floor. But, uh, we're not gonna get very far. It seems we'll need to figure out some of those teleporters after all, but first... Oh, I love Earthquake. Anyway, in order to progress, uh, we're actually going to need to uh, find the right teleporter to actually get us up here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the floor and then heal, then I'm going to find the teleporter we need. Alright, so the teleporter we're looking for is actually here on floor 3. It is this teleporter, right here next to this table. Oh god, it's that guy! <laughs> Son of a Don't talk to me. I'm not here for you. I'm sorry, you tried killing everyone in the building. Well, if you ask me, I think I made it in record time. Uh, oh, 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 Well then. Alright. So that guy starts off with his Sand Slash. Oh, pretty decent levels, actually. So I may want to actually get serious. ha. <laughs> Surf! You're nothing. Ah, delicious. Anyway, next up is... Ninetales. I'll let Goat take that one. Earthquake! Well, oh, the, the satisfaction is just through the roof here. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, just, just a potion? Just a potion. Did you honestly think that was going to help you? Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright, next up is Cloister. So, I'll switch to 2 2 1. A good Thunderbolt should do the trick. Maybe two, I'm not too sure. I did up its special a little bit. Two it is. Ha <laughs> ha! This is just too good. The problems I'm having here are pretty much none. Oh, I wish you could be a Raichu. <laughs> And next is Kadabra. Hmm. For Kadabra. Uh, Hedra can take care of that. So I can pretty much guarantee that Hedra can outspeed it. And uh, Kadabra is about as frail as a pane of glass. So, uh, yeah. Oh, but which one do I want to use? Do I want to use Drill Pack or Try Attack? You know what? I'll give Try Attack a shot because I haven't used it yet. By the power of geometry! Also, Tri Attack has a chance to either burn, paralyze, or freeze. Really, really helpful. I mean, random as fuck, but really helpful. 
Kind of. Maybe. And Jolteon. His Eevee's finally evolved! Now, I've gone over this really early in the Let's Play, but um, what his Eevee will evolve into all depends on how on the first two battles, the one in Oak's Lab and the one on Route 26. 26? 26. Win them both, Jolteon. And because I did win them both, Jolteon. Down you go! Hehe. <laughs> And that guy has gone down yet again. To no one's surprise. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Um, I'm totally listening. Yeah, you, uh. You do that. Oh. What's this? Actually being nice for once. And there it goes. Well. Now this guy is actually uh, pretty good to talk to. After that, he will give us a Lapras. So, I won't give a nickname to the Lapras, but... Oh good, I sent straight to the PC. Awesome. I was worried about that. <laughs> yeah! I mean, it'll just sit in the PC, but... Yeah! Um, moving on. Alright. Oh. You know, I didn't consciously prepare for trouble, but... Considering I have Earthquake now... I don't have to consciously prepare for trouble. <laughs> Jesse and James, once more. Starting off with Weezing. <laughs> and I'm starting off with Earthquake. I love this. <laughs> it brings a joy to my heart. Oh, another poison type. Another earthquake. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> and last of them, Meowth. That's right. Another earthquake. Because I seriously doubt me I'll be able to stand up to an earthquake. Do you guys have it? <laughs> Team Rocket slowly fading to black again. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Let's. We finally made it to the top. There he is. Boss Rocket once again. A vital business proposition. I don't know, I mean, I haven't been here for the meeting, but it looks like it's pretty one-sided. <laughs> Just try me. Alright, Giovanni. First up, Nidorino. A pure poison type. Against Earthquake. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have an Alakazam. I have a Gyarados. I have a very good physical oriented Pokemon with Earthquake. I've won the game. <laughs> I 
I've already won. <laughs> God spec. Hmm. So I think you'd actually use an item so useless. Next up, Rhyhorn. You know, I'd love to knock this thing out with an earthquake as well, but um, yeah, I, I, I think Shenron needs a little bit more love. And plus, so, uh, right on is rock and ground, meaning this is double effective. Time for the overkill. <laughs> and lastly, well, first we need to level up, but lastly, Nido Queen. You know, I think I'll keep showing one out for this one. Because this one's actually evolved, meaning it's part ground. <sighs> oh, really? Oh, that seems effective as well. Pulling no punches. <laughs> and Giovanni goes down once again. Oh, well, that, that was the idea. Well, actually, the idea was just to beat you all to a bloody pop because, hey, great need the experience. <laughs> uh huh. Now, I'd like to I'd like to introduce you to someone named Arceus. <laughs> anyway, ah, the beautiful secretary. Oh, I'm getting nothing out of that. Damn it. <laughs> but, this guy. Talk to him. Make sure you do. He'll actually give us a reward for saving his dear company in their, in their, in their moment of peril. <laughs> He's rich, so he can give us anything. So, he gives us the Master Ball. The Pokeball that can catch any Pokemon without fail. Okay, well in this game there's actually the slightest percentage of a chance that it'll actually miss, but other than that, it won't fail. This, we can't buy anywhere. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Uh, like 99% of the time. <laughs> it's alright, I will put it to very good use. Very good use. Very. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright. So, now that we've taken care of that, Team Rocket has been completely, um, eradicated from Sylph. Or liberated from Sylph. Or Saffron. Both. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> The Team Rocket's gone, the people are back out, and we can actually go into houses now, but um, I kind of spent this whole time going through the Sylph Co anyway, so it's probably best to end things off now while I still can, <laughs> before I go too overboard. So, we took out Team Rocket once again, we got ourselves a Master Ball, and things are going pretty damn well for us. But next time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. We are going to give Saffron the exploring that I wanted to do last time, and we're going to take on the Saffron City Gym. Boy, am I looking forward to that one. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.